Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Boundless. Today we are moving forward with the game, trying to get more of these quests done. There's quite a few of them to get to. It looks like right now we can changing an open warp. Warps don't always open to safe places, so we don't have to worry about that. We've already read about that before. But yeah, it looks like we have a couple more things. It says if you build it, they'll come. Like we have some quests there that I think we've already done. So that's a little weird. Let me go ahead and just sort of quickly get our all of our stuff, 300 coins, 1500 experience, not too bad. Got a couple more, that got us, I guess it got us to level up or something. Not bad, 2100 coins and everything, seems pretty good to me. But it looks like a spot of gardening is something we're doing. So if we take a look at our journal, we have a spot of gardening. Peace, tranquility, and a spot of gardening. Grab a shovel and dig up some grass and flowers to add a relaxing touch to your builds. To plant grass seed or flowers, simply equip them in your hand and then use the item to, uh, to place them. The them. <laughs> to get longer grass, simply place more grass seed on top of the grass. Okay, so if we wanna, okay, that's the part I got a little confused about is how to make it even larger. So I need to go ahead and get some more grass seed, I think. Let me, oh no, no, I have one piece, but I need more than one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that to the left and then equip my shovel. Gotta sort of relearn how to play the game. Oh, did I, it, which one's, the, this one's the shovel, okay. And I'm gonna try to destroy some grass. But yeah, I have a couple days since I've last played, so I do have to sort of pick things up again and see what else I can maybe collect. See if I can't get any more barbed grass seeds. That would be good. But then we'll try to focus on, you know, making as much progress as possible. Either that's, you know, making the furnace. That's a big thing for me right now. Try to get more flint in any way possible. I'm not actually getting any more seed for this, I don't think. Really doesn't seem like it, unless, are these both the same seed? I think so. So let me actually try destroying this stuff. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now we have two of them. So what I'm gonna do is place a grass seed. I'm gonna place it over this way, just like this. And I'm gonna place it again, make taller grass. Why didn't that, okay, that did count, but only for one of them. It didn't, it didn't count the make taller grass part, which is weird. So I'm gonna keep going and see if I can't get myself even more grass seed. That would be very appreciated. Getting some soil, salty soil, clay soil, all that kind of stuff, but not exactly what I'm begging for them. Trying to look for some grass seeds. So this stuff's probably gonna be even better for me. There are some seeds, not bad. Keep moving though. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your support on the first couple episodes. It seems like a couple of you are interested in playing this game or me playing the game, um, which I appreciate. I always love hearing the feedback no matter what game I'm playing. I still don't know how far I'm gonna get in this series. It might just be a couple more episodes, but it's always worth, worth trying it out, right? Okay, so I need to put those seeds back in. Okay, now this time I got a whole lot more of them. I got five of them, so. Hold on, uh, what is happening? There we go. Was that so bad? No, I don't wanna, no, that's not what it, <laughs> dang it. All I want is this. I wanna grow this even taller. There we go. That's got it working. Very cool. So let me, no, I wanted to switch this and try to finish this off, this uh, material off as much as I can. So that's another thing done. If you build it, they will come acquire flint, acquire a stick. I should have both of those things. So I don't know what's going on, I mean, I don't have any flint at the moment, maybe that's why, but when it comes to the stick, that's pretty easy to make. If I just uh, go over here and then just craft one stick. There we go, that got checked off. Bil uh, building a crafting furnace, acquire a furnace base, which I thought I did, but maybe I have yet to. I don't see it. There's a lot of stuff in my inventory right now. So I don't think I have it. So let's press square to interact. And uh, taking a look at our recipes, I should have beacon control furnace base. What do I need for this? Any stones? Well, I do have stones, I just gotta make them then. Uh, so let's make a couple of those. Making four of those. Making a couple of the, I have a lot of igneous stones. My queue is full now. So I'm gonna let my queue do its thing. While it's doing my, its thing, maybe I'll turn this little underside into a little mining area. I feel like that would be my best bet. What happened to my hammer? Do I still have my hammer or did that break? No, it's right here, okay. I was gonna get a little concerned there. Don't have to be now. <laughs> but um, make this a little mining area. I might be able to find more flint that way. I mean, last time finding flint was a total happy accident. So if I find flint or not, it's still sort of up in the air, I suppose. But for now, I might as well just give this a shot and see what ends up happening. Let's go ahead and break some of these bigger blocks. Got it like this, very, very good. Nice. I'm gonna do what I can with all of it. And so far, I don't think I'm getting really too much flint. 
So I don't know if I should try to dig down farther, maybe make like a spiraling staircase downwards and you know, just sort of know what's under my base, that would be good. Okay, so it looks like I acquired the torches, acquire, place torches in your beacon, that finally caught up. Adams to your beacon. Oh no, okay, maybe I got flint. Yeah, I did cross that off, so I did get flint. Um, add items to your beacon to increase its prestige. I've added a lot of items, but it looks like I need to add a lot more. Um, yeah, three times as much as I've already put in. Uh, acquire furnace base. I should be able to do whenever the queue is more available, and it looks like it is. So what I gotta do now is just grab everything from it. Oh no, I already had one. Okay. Hmm. I really wish I had a larger inventory because this is getting a problem, to be a problem. I might just like put that there. I guess I have like a crafting table storage. Okay, so I have those two things, equip the the, the furnace space and play in a ba beacon area. I don't know why I can't pronounce anything right now. Okay, so uh, this is the stone furnace crucible. This is the base. So I'm gonna put this there and then that there. Okay, so. All I gotta do now is equip it, and then place it, sure, why not here? That should work pretty well. And now what? Knowledge screen, machines such as the furnace can craft a wide variety of different things. If you are ever unsure of what you can make, why did that go away? <laughs> Usually those things never go away unless I tell them to, what was with that? Okay, so place a furnace crucible in the furnace space. We know how to do that, just do that. Okay, so, okay, here it comes back. If you were ever unsure of what you can make, open the knowledge screen. You can open the knowledge screen by pressing the touchpad to open the character menu and select, and selecting knowledge, cool. So add fuel to the furnace. We do need some kind of fuel sir, uh, source. What could that be? Maybe just wood? Maybe like tree trunks? And then let's add a bunch of these, like all of them. Start furnace. Okay, that seems to work. Is it gonna take a minute per thing? Wow, we. That's a lot of time. I don't know what would be better. I mean, I could throw some of this stuff in. <laughs> they won't let me. Okay, that is bizarre. I don't know what's gonna speed that up. I mean, getting more coal? I mean, we do have soft coal. I don't know why I'm not using that. Okay, so you would think coal would do a little bit better, but I suppose not. All right, well, hopefully that does its thing. We craft in the furnace, that's what we're doing right now. Add items to your beacon to increase its prestige. Oh, okay, so one thing I'm noticing, can I place this down somewhere? Oh, you know what this is? That's for adding to the thing, right? I don't know. Um, it, if one item isn't one prestige, it depends on the item. I'm understanding that a bit better now. So I probably want to, at the moment, handcraft as much as I can. I okay, can get up this way, there we go. Um, and craft some pieces of wood, like if I have twisted timber, make some twisted timber. Maybe make a couple basic torches, I only have one. Probably shouldn't have done that. Hmm, this song is very sad. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> what is, what, what else can I make here? Like I still have some stuff waiting in the contents, it's just rocks. And then there's a workbench. With the workbench I need base metal, which is what I'm crafting right now. A bigger, more advanced relative of the crafting table some assembly is required. So I'll do that, of course, once I have three base metal, which is what I'm making right now. I'm making some copper. So if I double check this right now, there is one copper waiting in there for me and it is speeding up a little bit more. So definitely for now, let's collect everything I've gotten, which is 340 coins, 2700 experience. We got level eight, do that again. I got one cleanse point, two skill points. Got, gonna quick collect all of that as well. Week after week one, interesting. So there's lots of stuff to get, obviously. Um, so that is still doing its thing. It's gonna be a while. For right now, I do need to do this, so I'm just gonna place that there. Do I have another beacon plotter? How many beacon plotters do I have? I don't think I can do any more than that. I guess I had a lot of those. Cause like I can place something like this down. That actually does not add to my prestige at all. Got you. So I think it's it's worth my while to go back to the journal and see if there's anything else I can pin. So at the moment, like, if you build it, they will come tier one core objective. Oh, that's what I have pinned right now. Move on from your basic be beacon foundations with a little exterior and interior design. No beacon is complete without walls to keep creatures and then one guest at bay. You'll also need a few torches to light the place up at night. Remember, the more useful your beacon, the more likely you'll 
beat to receive visitors, and the more prestige your beacon has, the more likely it will be to become a settlement. Build and build some more. I don't even want people to visit, I just want it to be myself. I'm like an old hermit, leave me alone. Crafty Fueler, tier one cra crafter objective. Unless you're handcrafting or using a crafting table, you'll need plenty of fuel to craft in machines. There are many types of fuel dotted around the known worlds. You just need to find them and use them to get the most out of your machines. So we'll try that. And then fixing machines maybe, or maybe we should do something else like soil examination. Uh, soil grower of grass, carry of certain root-based foods. It can also prov prove to be a useful crafting ingredient, and in some cases, a fuel for certain machines. Grab a shovel and see what you can find below the grass. Okay, then we'll unpin, or we'll pin all those objectives. So mine grass, that one's super easy. We already have a shovel waiting for us. Uh, in our, that we already have equipped. So we'll try to mine 10 different grass. And we'll also try to collect three gra grass seeds, which we already have three grass seeds, but I don't think it's to have three grass seeds, it's to collect them, so I just gotta keep going. So we already got that done, just gotta keep knocking away at this. But hopefully with this copper, we can use that to improve our gear even farther than what we have right now. I also need to find a way to make a chest, store some of this stuff, because right now I'm not doing a very good job with that part. Okay, so I did that, now we have another step in uh, soil examination, we're mining the soil. And we're also collecting earth yams. I don't know if we found any earth yams, so I gotta figure out what that is soon enough. But this is not making any progress with mining the soil, which is weird because it says it's soil. Okay, there it goes. But this is a bit more soily soil. Well, I'm glad to know. So we'll at least knock down these 10. I don't know where we're getting earth yams from, but if I see some, I will certainly grab them. I don't know if that's something we've found in the past or not. Okay, I got that part crossed off. Uh. So we just gotta use different things to fuel a machine. Right now we should have already that one, but I guess it hasn't because I activated that quest after. So if I go back here and I take this stuff out and then I put it back in, right? Will that work? Does it? Use wood to fuel machine. This is a machine, but it ain't working. Okay, we have six of these though. That's plenty to get started with some stuff. So uh, what did I need first? There were a couple things. I wanted to make a better workbench, because that'll definitely add to my prestige. Uh, so we have enough of these. Wait, why did I craft, uh, did I just craft four of them? I don't think I did. I think I almost did, but I didn't. Yeah, just says ones in queue, so I don't think I have. So I don't know why it's not checking off the uh, use wood to fuel machine. Is this not a machine? I suppose not. Weird. Okay, well this is just gonna continue doing its thing. More fuel required, okay. Uh, there we go. So if I stop the furnace now and save some wood and then get the coal back in, there we go. And then PD soil. Let me do that really quickly, just to get through these. Soil smart stack, that doesn't work. This is gravel, that's sand. Maybe I don't have any PD soil right now. I mean, I have in the past. I know that much, but I might have used it. So we'll just use the coal and continue cooking more copper, and then hopefully in the future I can get some of that PD soil. So that's not very quick, but hey, only so much you can do about it. Going back this way. Oh, we did craft four of them, dang it. I didn't want to do that. Unless I'm supposed to do that, I don't know. Sort of weird. Yeah, move that down that way. And now we have one of these. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna need them sooner or later. That definitely added a lot to my prestige. Oh, there we go, I got it done. There's 200, just by placing two of them down. So can I interact with this? Okay, well first off, collect that. Maybe I need to place down all four of them. I don't know what these workbenches really do. Whoa, press square to interact. Recipes, oh, here we go, crafting recipes. Each recipe details the ingredients required to craft a particular item. Improve your crafting skills with skill points to unlock more recipes. You can also visit the knowledge tab in the character menu to see other recipes, gotcha. So we got a couple things we still have to do. Right now we have some recipes, we only have two of which we can actually do. So like there's machine copper, and there's also warp augment if we wanted to make that, which I don't at the moment. Other machine stuff, a nail, a cog, useful component for gizmos and thingamabobs. So all this stuff is like very simple recipe pieces. Like you put this stuff into other stuff, I guess. Um, extractor, the extractor, used for extracting stuff, great when you need raw materials. 
I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds like it'd be nice to have. I do not want to make four of them. Is there any way to just make one? Like there's 20. No, the, the, la the least you can make is four. Okay, gotcha. And there's also portal conduit. And then my queue that, that, that that's being made. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, and when you place them all together, they become this whole thing. That makes sense. Cool. Still have no idea how to make a chest. I mean, here we go, storage block, probably this. A useful block made of sturdy stone stores of the four items, that's, that's it? We need more glue. That's it, we have no clue how to make glue, but that's probably where we f we figure that out here maybe, because like recipes, you'd think it would be in here, but it's not. Where can I make glue? Maybe it is in here. We have like plain stone door, glue, glue, glue. I don't see any glue anywhere. How in the world do you make glue? I feel like that's something I figured out last episode, but I have now forgotten. Like maybe I can just handcraft, no, what am I doing? I just wanna get up here. Maybe there's a way to make glue through this. I doubt it, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Looks like I can change the color of my gear if I wanted to. Don't wanna do that at the moment. This game is weird. <laughs> I say that every episode and I'll say it every episode. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for now, we definitely need some more material. So if I could, yeah, look at this tree. This tree came back between episodes. That's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna start chopping this bad boy down a little bit and see if I can't get myself some stuff. You know what then? We're gonna try a good old classic uh, move here by just trying to get up here and, is there a tree overhead? Or at least a branch overhead? Not quite. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, whoa, 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 whoa. Was I just pushed? That was weird, that was weird. Okay, maybe making a staircase would be smarter. I might have to get some upgrades that maybe make me place blocks a little faster, because I'm pretty sure that's an upgrade you can get. Because this is a little slow. So let's go ahead and do this. This is probably a bad idea. If I feel like I'm being pushed around. Okay, now there has to, this has to be pushing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these. Knock them down for 460 damage. But once we find more earth yams, that'd be good. I also wanna explore the different planets eventually, but obviously I need to learn the basics here. Because in different planets, I'm sure we'll find even better materials that maybe we could even bring back to our current base and get some good things done. Also noticing, oh no, that's this. I was like, what are all these green beams heading into the sky? Are they like markers for different players? Not quite. Okay, so back to placing more soil down and just hope I don't get pushed. Whoa, what is that over there? That has to be somebody's building. Okay, so before I go any farther then, how can I knowledge? Well, is this what I needed? I suppose not. I, mean, I can learn a number of things here, but like maybe I can learn about glue. Here, let me see if there's any glue. There's boulder chips, there's coal. Where in the world can I figure out about glue? I don't see any glue here. I see some fossils, apparently glass, that makes sense. This is some more basic materials here, so I feel like it'd be around here. We got, oh, these are creature stuff. Okay, food. Yeah, I, th I remember looking in here. So yeah, for this one we need sap and bone. But what do we need to make it? Crafted by furnace, so we need bone. I don't have, I remember doing that last episode now. Deja vu. Okay, keep chopping down this tree. We got work to do here. But I also, the whole reason I brought that up is I wanted to be able to upgrade things, right? Skills, here we go. Power bonus, control, dexterity. This is what I wanted. I wanted to upgrade this a couple times. And then there's some other stuff I wanted to take a look at, right? Like tool crafting. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, Decoration crafting increases your decoration crafting level, but what would that actually do? I don't know. Food crafting, brew crafting, I guess it crafts these type of materials faster. So we probably want it to be like uh, tool crafting to be a leveled up, and then I got one more. So let's go ahead and do that. Is that maximum then? Interesting, I think I need to apply these. Confirm selection, confirm. Okay, interesting. And then there's more stuff that I'll unlock soon enough. So that'll be interesting as well. Lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff to see. I don't think it's gonna be too productive to knock down this entire tree. It actually is a bit of a chore. 
It isn't like Minecraft where all you have to do is look straight up. It's a whole lot more of a chore to knock down every piece of wood in a tree. This doesn't feel really necessary at all. I think it feels a lot more necessary to go get some earth yams. See, so yeah, when it comes to certain materials, I'm still a little, oh gosh, clueless. Oh, that's like the first time I've taken damage in a while. I'm still a little clueless on some things, right? How do I make a weapon? Because I, I mean, I guess I have like the stone sling bow. That's probably my best bet when it comes to a weapon. Weapon made for firing helps fend off creatures. I would need more sticks and I would need more foliage. So the sticks are pretty easy to figure out. I'm going to just make some real fast. Handcraft and sticks. I don't need to make a bunch. I just need to make a couple, just like that. And then let's go ahead and get a little bit more foliage. Okay, I'm glad that fall doesn't hurt me. That'd be a little silly. I mean, this game is very pretty. I just feel like I also ended up falling in a place that was very basic in its detailing. So we'll get some more cherries out of that. Definitely getting plenty of foliage this way. Okay, so that should be enough, plenty enough to get back up this way and uh, see what we can do. Should be enough to make this and craft it and see what this ends up doing. How long is that? The queue's only 30 seconds. I don't know what it shoots. You know, that's sort of the weird thing. Is it, does it have a projectile I also need to make? Because I don't see that being mentioned anywhere. Like I see basic torches and I see a number of other things, but nothing beyond that. Well, while we're waiting, I can go ahead and try to pin some other stuff. Uh, try a little mountaineering or caving whilst exploring the known worlds. Mining in both of these areas can uncover essential resources rarely found elsewhere. You may even find pieces of technology last used by the orcs who came before. Warp conduits. I think we've made warp conduits in the past. So we can make two more and get some rewards that way. Okay, is this good to go? It's good to go, all right. Okay, is there any way I can organize my inventory. I mean, I can organize it myself, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> I wanted something to do it for me. Okay, so then in the meantime, we are going to do that and try this out. No, it just shoots stuff. How awesome is that? So that might be my best bet for taking out enemies if I need to earn up bones, because I didn't get any bones, you know? That was a problem, I didn't get any bones whatsoever. There might not be any enemies around here anymore. Really doesn't look like it. There used to be a whole herd of like, <laughs> herd. Uh, maybe a flock would be a proper termination. Like a little bird dinosaur thing. So I don't know where they went. Tried beating them last episode and they ended up beating me up. I didn't die luckily. Oh, these even shoot underwater. Not very much, but good to know that they can. So let me quickly change my weapon. I have my, my shovel right now. I'm gonna use that. Luckily you can beat things up while you're in the water. That makes it way easier to survive. Is this dirt? I think it's dirt, hard to tell. But I wanted to start exploring out this way and just try to find what I can. I guess enemies don't really show up too much. Oh, here we go. I see somebody. Where'd you go? Ooh, that's some good damage too. Oh, I know, you, I see you charging at me. We hit a critical there. Oh, did we get you? I'm so sorry there, buddy. Did you drop anything? Oh, there we go, just took a second. You did drop a bone, very, very good for me. So that's at least one glue. I forget what we wanted the glue for. We went in for something, and sooner or later, oh, hello. I'm sorry. Oh, you are a stout one, so you have a fair bit more health, and you are just charging for me. You got, you know, this is supposed to be easy. <laughs> You're supposed to be easy to take a, hopefully I can take like a, make it like a sword at some point, that would be cool. So it looks like the, all this does is like take up the durability, which honestly isn't too bad of a trade. Come on, come on, got you, level nine reached. And then you're gonna explode into a whole bunch of stuff, right? There it is. Some more raw meat, we got fresh blood, ew. I don't think we got any bones that time at all. So all I was looking for, don't eat all this other gross stuff. Yeah, so here's a warp conduit. We could make two of these. Oh, we can make a couple, which I do need two of them. So we're just gonna do that real quickly, and then I'll chop that off the list. Navigate lower. Okay. Oh, there's another one up here. This is a spitter, actually. This is a new enemy in general, so he's gonna, he's gonna spit back. I'm spinning at him, he's spinning at me. 
Some of these guys are not easy to land on. Let's try from over here. Come on, keep getting him. Keep getting him. <laughs> this is not easy. Especially when he has the uphill advantage. I really should have changed that around, shouldn't I have? There we go. One, one more shot. Oh, we got him! <laughs> Combat is tough. That's for sure. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Sorry, buddy. Oh, he dropped the bone, though. Hmm. Enemies are hard to see in this game, too. That's another issue. But yeah, navigating lower seems like something we'll do sooner or later. We have so much stuff now. Our inventory is just packed. But that's what, oh, I needed the glue to make the chests. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I don't have to worry about anything else except for getting back. And to do that, I probably should be going that way. Okay, hop in the water. Oh my, that was a mistake. No, it wasn't, we're fine. Hunger, performing actions increases hunger. Yep, we, we know about that one. So we need to, uh, eat more food soon, probably level ourselves up so that we can have more hunger bar in general or something. Still a little confused about the earth yams, but you know, some things just have to wait for later. I do see this guy, the wild stock. I think he's like fast or something. Did I get him there? Oh, he's mad at me now. He's actually going under the water to fight me right now. Is this actually gonna land? He can swim better than I can, that's for sure. Oh, we're getting him though, we're getting him. If I get him from under the water, I don't know what that's gonna do. Like, is he gonna be able to drop his stuff? Will it float or will it sink? I think it sinks. Well, oh well. I'm so sorry, buddy. That was for nothing. So more enemies should be popping up now. I mean, yeah. I don't even call them enemies. They're very neutral until you start attacking first. Oh no, but then they do. And they're very, very not neutral. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> they do, does they have, once you attack them, they have absolutely no fear. You do not want to mess with these guys. Come on, get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water, there's something hunting me down. I gotta go, there we go, good, 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 good. I'm running, <laughs> I'm just getting out of here. I did not want them knocking me into the water again, that was such a pain. Seems like you only want to fight these guys on some pretty flat land. Okay, let's get back up there. Excuse me guys, yeah, you guys just pop up everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Okay, keep going. Some areas can be tougher to climb on than others. It's all about the blocks being slanted. Because that's something you can do in this game that you can't do in Minecraft, is you can actually slant the blocks, so you can make them indented, you can make them slanted, all that kind of stuff. Makes it for like a more in-depth viewing experience, I guess, like looking at it, it's a little crazier to, to sort of understand what's going on. But anyways, none of that stuff concerns me right now. All that concerns me is checking on my copper, which is all finished. Very nice. I don't have any space to pick it up right now. But the confusing thing is that, okay, how do I make better weapons? Is there literally nothing better than stone stuff? Because I was hoping I could upgrade to like some copper weapons, but it's looking like that's not actually, oh. No, no, I can do that here. Um, I don't know how I, I didn't notice this before. So we do have some copper bar, we have some sticks, I need more glue for this, so. Oh, this is sort of like a chicken and the egg situation right now. Can I delete things? Because I really need to delete some stuff out of my inventory. Like, uh, I know what barbed grass seed is. Can I just like throw it? No. Details. How can I get rid of something? That's all I want to do. That is weird. I mean, like, I already have stick. I might just have to turn all my trees into sticks to make an extra inventory slot, because I don't know what else I'm doing. It doesn't make it clear how I can destroy things, and that's so bizarre. You'd think that'd be a really obvious thing to have around. Okay, well now I don't need sticks for a while at the very least. Have some inventory space, and I'm gonna use that to craft glue. I'm gonna leave the copper there for now. And I need bones, and I need, what else? The sap. Bones and sap make glue. So doing that will be good. And then that's gonna make the glue and then we can have an inventory, which will be fantastic. I'm probably gonna put some really common materials in there for now. And I guess I should just keep using these until they run out if I can't get rid of them, apparently. That is so bizarre. I don't understand why it would work that way. But um, let's quick collect this stuff. Not really too much, but it's something. There has to be a way to destroy this stuff. There is no option to. That is bizarre. That is so bizarre. So I'm just gonna keep using it 
I don't even care what I use it against. I just need to be able to break it. So if I just keep swinging it, I should be fine with that. And we definitely do swing a little bit faster with our added dexterity. So that's appreciated. It's so, it's a whole lot, sh like, not shorter, uh, longer <laughs> to uh, beat things up, that's for sure. It's a whole lot more work and because of that, a whole lot more hunger. But this thing is almost broken. That'll make it a whole lot easier. But once we get glue, things should start going our, our, our way a bit better. Because then we can make that one area and that'll be great. My progress, well that was weird. Getting a little laggy there, aren't we? Okay, so run back this way and check on the furnace. How are things going? It looks like I never started. I swear that I did. Apparently I didn't. That's odd. Uh, <laughs> must have just been an accident. Let's run back over this way. This thing is almost broken, so just keep swinging. We got it. Should be no problem. But definitely, progress is a lot slower in this game, and I think that's obviously for a reason. They're trying to influence you to buy stuff with real life money to make it easier. There it is, it's finally broken. So, I actually have two stone axes, which isn't a problem, I suppose. Okay, so I have one of these. I'm gonna use this to start breaking some stuff as well. Got it. I got that too. And this is actually gonna take a whole lot longer. So I feel like if I wanna do this one, maybe I should find somewhere better to start knocking some stuff down. I mean, it looks like, I, I do wanna try some of this stone. It's really the side of a mountain that usually has like a lot of stuff, which is sort of a pain when you think about it because it's really hard to stand on the side of a mountain. What do you know? I mean, I could try it, but I'd rather not. Whoa, did somebody make a bridge over here? What if that means there's some convenient materials waiting for us? That'd be nice. What do we got here? This is a desert sword. I probably want the shovel for this. Yeah, that's a lot better. What did that get me? Fibrous leaf and two earth yams. Yeah, okay, oh my. Okay, so this is both what I want and what I don't want because it's spooky. But it also is gonna provide me things to break with my hammer. Nice, well, that's very cool. I cannot wait to explore this key, but I think that's something we should save for the next episode. I think we're all just about wrapped up. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Boundless. If you watched this the video, make sure you comment Zebra Furnace so any of you watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.